Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a challenge video. This is the first letter makeup challenge and I believe Nikki Tutorials is the one who started it. She was the first person that I saw ever do this. So basically you have to do a full face of makeup, but you can only use brands that start with the first letter of your first name. So my name is Mallory, obviously starting with an M. So I can only use brands that start with the letter M for my makeup today. So I'm super excited. I pulled a bunch of stuff from my makeup collection some stuff that I haven't used in a while some favorites and I also got a couple new things because I just can't resist the opportunity to try new makeup if you want to see what kind of makeup I do using only brands that start with the letter M definitely go ahead and keep on watching okay so starting off I normally honestly start doing like my base first like foundation primer all that and then I move into eyebrows but I don't want to do that today and I just want to get these on. So I'm just going to do eyebrows first. So for my eyebrows today, I'm going to be using this Evercolor Brow Defining Gel and this is from the brand Mally Beauty. And this one's in the shade Taupe so it's just a little bit light for me but I'm going to have to make it work. I definitely do like this product. Like I said, the only like real issue that I have with it is just it's a smidge a smidge too light for me being that my natural hair is brunette um i definitely think if you're blonde that this would look really really nice on you it is a pomade consistency it's definitely more dry than the other ones that i've used in the past um definitely more dry versus like an anastasia or like a benefit pomade let me know if you guys want to see like a full eyebrow routine i've never done one of those before and in my other videos, I normally skip past the brows. So if that's something that you guys would be interested, definitely leave it in the comments down below so I know to film that. So for primer today, I also considered using another product by Mally Beauty. And this is their Evercolor Poreless Face, Face Defender. Um, it's basically a silicone primer. Press down in this pan so it's kind of hard to use. You have to like get your finger into the product and then like wipe it on your face like that. It also comes with this little like sponge thing that you can kind of use to like smear it on the face but I just don't really like it that much. I think it's kind of difficult to use and it kind of like balls up on your face so I don't think I'm going to really use this one today. I just want to put a little bit on so I can kind of show you. But I do have that one. It's just not my favorite one to use. But one I really do enjoy is from Morphe and this is their foundation primer equalizer. I think this one's awesome. It's a really really good drugstore primer. Um, very moisturizing, believe it or not. Even though it's like a silicone based primer, it's definitely like moisturizing and like smooth on the skin. So I really enjoy using this one. For foundation today, I'm actually going to be trying out a new one, which I think kind of defeats the purpose of this video. Maybe not. Maybe not. I didn't say you had to use products you already had. So, you know, not that I didn't have any like foundations that started with M. I have another Maybelline one and then I actually really wanted to use this one that was Makeup Forever. Even like as fake tanned as I am like it's just too dark for me um so I don't really use it which is really disappointing because I love this foundation and it was so expensive but I just don't think I can do that one today but anyway I was at Ulta earlier and I decided to pick up this Maybelline Superstay full coverage foundation and I know that everybody has raved about this one in the past I've just never personally tried it so I was like perfect opportunity so I picked this one up in the shade 130 buff beige so I'm really, really hoping it matches me because I didn't have like a tester one available for me to test out. So we'll see. One thing I do already off the bat really like about this foundation as opposed to like my Maybelline. Oh my God, what is this? This Dewy Smooth is that this one has a pump. So I was going to get the Maybelline Matte and Poreless one because I already have the Dewy Smooth and I love it. I've just never tried out the matte one before, but I was really, really drawn to this. Not just because everybody else loves it, but because of the pump. So... Way to go, Maybelline. It says full coverage, but I just don't know, like, how much to use. Okay, there's a pump. Let me do, like... I'm gonna start out with a pump and a half, and we'll see what that does. Also, I got a brand new Morphe sponge. Look at how red and clean it is! Just so satisfying when you have, like, a brand new sponge, you know? Oh yeah, I can definitely tell that this is more of a full coverage foundation. That was one and a half pumps and it covered me pretty well. I'm just going to use a little bit more because you girls extra, but I can definitely tell it's more of like a buildable foundation. Oh, you know what? I can kind of see some pilling over in like my cheek region and that, I think that's from the Smiley Beauty Primer. See, I shouldn't have even put it on, but I just wanted to like show you guys how it kind of like balls up. 
but I think that's what's making it kind of ball up a little bit. I think it's definitely that primer because I have used that Morphe one with so many different foundations and it's never done that to me. I think I'm just going to end up throwing that Mally primer away because I don't think I'm ever going to use it again. It's just not comparable to my other drugstore ones. Is this the matte foundation? Oh yes, seamless matte finish. I was going to say, this is not dewy at all. It's not super matte that I look like I got the life sucked out of me, but it's definitely dried down really, really fast. So... I mean, that's nice. Moving on to concealer, I have another one from Maybelline, and this is the Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer, and this one is in 20 Light. This one I have to oddly shake up before I use it because it's such a liquid consistency that sometimes I put it on and it, like, kind of squirts out, like, oil almost, which is really strange, but I'm just going to use this, obviously, under my eyes to cover up my dark circles and just kind of the normal highlighty areas. Maybe. Whoa, that was so much. Oh my god. Oh my god, it came out way too much. I love, love, love that concealer. I think it's a really nice coverage, and it's not super matte and thick that it makes you look cakey. However, that applicator is terrible. Like, you can already see, like, how it just randomly spit out a bunch of product. It's just not my fave. I wish they would have done it, um, like, with a wand. That way you can kind of control more so the amount that goes on each time, but... They just had to do it to us in a squeezy tube. Now I'm going to be testing out another new product, and this is from Morphe, and this is their Bake and Set um, Loose Setting Powder, and I think I got mine, yeah, I got mine in Translucent. I've had this one sitting in my collection for quite a while now, I just haven't tested it out, so let's turn this into a first impressions too. Take a little bit of this Morphe powder in the cap and use my tiny Ulta sponge, and just very lightly bake under my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes. So for eyeshadow primer, which I don't actually use ever, but I figured since I have it and for the sake of the video, I'm gonna use one. This one's from Morphe and this is their eyelid primer in translucent. Never used this one before either, so I'm surprised I'm using so many new products. Now for eyeshadow, the palette that I'm going to be using today is from the brand Makeup Obsession, and this is their Life is a Party palette. I have never tried anything from the brand Makeup Obsession besides this palette. I got it for Christmas as a gift, and I have used it a couple times since then, and it's really, really beautiful. I love all the warm tones and shimmery shades in this palette. Starting off, I'm going to go in with the shade Sandcastle, which is a matte white shade. I'm just going to kind of use this as a base to kind of set down that primer. Now for a transition shade, I'm going to go in with the shade right down there, Smoothie, which is just a matte peach shade. And I'm just going to fluff this all into my crease. To sort of deepen up the crease, I'm going to go in with the shade right there, Funky Chicken. Don't know why it's named Funky Chicken, but anyway, it's just kind of a matte burnt orange, kind of like terracotta shade. And I'm just going to fluff this into the crease as well, but kind of keeping it a bit lower than I did that smoothie shade. And I'm just going to dip back into smoothie to kind of blend out the edges of that a little bit more. Next, to deepen things up a little bit, I'm going to go into the shade that's right next to Funky Chicken, and this is called Party, which is another matte, deep, purpley, burgundy shade. And I'm just going back and forth between packing the shade on and blending it out so I can get the desired amount of pigmentation. And then taking that same brush that I just used for the shade party, I'm going to flip it over and on the other side, it's kind of like a flat blender brush. On the other side, I'm going to go right into the shade directly below party, Mocha, which is a matte brown shade. And I'm going to ever so slightly pop that into the outer third as well. I think I'm going to go in the shade Forest right there, which is a more purpley shimmer shade. I've used a couple of the shimmers in this palette before and they're really, really nice. But the forest shade is the only one I haven't used, so I kind of want to try it. Actually, it's not the only one I haven't used. That's a lie. Um, but it's just one of the ones that I haven't used, so I kind of want to try it out. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on my brush. And I'm also going to go in with this Morphe Jeffree Star setting spray. And I'm just going to give it a spritz to make it a little bit more pigmented when I put it on the eye. I used to be so obsessed with this setting spray, and not that I no longer am but I no longer use it on my face because I realized that 
it makes my face sticky when I put it on. So I only use that one for like wetting my shadows now. I no longer use it to do like an overall like application on my face to like set my makeup, but it still smells nice. It's just really, really sticky and I don't like how it makes my face feel. So random side note. I'm going to go into the shade Firework right up there, which looks like a really iridescent pinky tone. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner of my eye. Now, so I can finish off the eyes entirely, I'm going to go in with a mixture of Funky, Chicken, and Party and smudge that on my lower lash line. Now, moving on to the face. The only thing I really, really forgot to get was bronzer. I already have a bronzer from Milani. This is one of their big bronzer in the shade Dulce. Um, don't know if I'm saying that right, but the only problem I have with it is just that I think it's a bit too light for me, unfortunately. Um, this would probably work really good if I'm fair. The only thing is it kind of does pull orange, so it's not my favorite, um, again, just because of the color. However, it is the only one that I have that starts with the letter M, so I'm going to use it today, and we'll just see if it shows up. Okay, so it's showing up a little bit, definitely not as much as I would want it to. That's as good as it's going to get. Anyway, moving on to blush. This one I have is also from Milani. It's also one of their baked blushes, and this one is in Berry Amore. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry, I'm not good with the names. But this is another baked, like, shimmery blush, so I'm just going to take this on my new, what is this called? My new Alamis. I think that's the brand, Alamis brush. Um, I got these brushes and my BoxyCharm, my February BoxyCharm, so if you guys are into BoxyCharm or any of you like watching unboxing videos, I will link my February BoxyCharm video down below. I just uploaded it and these brushes are one of the things that I got and I really like them so far. I'm going to go back in with my Morphe Translucent Powder and I'm going to use this to bake underneath my cheekbones. I'm just going to give that powder a minute or two to sit on my face. For lips today, this is another new product that I didn't need, but I kind of did need a product that I did pick up at the drugstore and Ulta, to be specific, because they were having a sale on Maybelline, of course. Uh, it was like buy two, get one free. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lip, and this one's in the shade Driver. Now, I have tried out these lip products in the past. I do have one other one that I really like to use. I just haven't tried this color out, so I like it. It's a good formula. It definitely stays on a really, really long time. However, I think I remember it not being transfer proof. Um, I think that was like the only issue that I had with it was it definitely took a bit longer than some of my other ones I have to dry down completely matte, but I mean, it's a pretty formula and it's drugstore, so I got another one. And for highlight, this is a Mali Beauty product that I'm actually really excited to talk about. It's one of my favorites. And this is their Effortlessly Airbrushed Highlighter, and this one's in Stardust. This is actually one of the most stunning highlighters that I have ever seen, ever tried out before. It's a very pretty light champagne -y gold, and it definitely has some glitter in it, but it's not super overwhelming. It just gives you a very nice very over-the-top, shiny, shiny, highlighty glow. I think it's comparable to my Anastasia. This is my Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator. Mine is broken, so I can't really hold it up that well to show you. This is the Anastasia one right here, and then this here is the Mali Beauty one. Very, very shiny, shimmering golds. They are stunning. Like, as you can see, that is one swipe of the Mali Beauty one. So this is definitely, I think, the best product I've ever tried out from their brand. I definitely would recommend everybody checking this out if you can still find it. It's very hard to find these products anymore. Um, I know I got like a crazy sale on all of mine at Kohl's not too long ago. Um, and I also did a full face of like Mali Beauty. I will link that video down in the description bar if you guys are curious to see any of those products. Like I said, I got a crazy good deal on all of them. Now that I finally got most of everything laid down already, I'm going to go ahead and set it because like I said earlier, it was starting to get a bit cakey on my face, applying all the powders and going overboard with the concealer like I did on accident. So to set everything down and kind of bring a little bit more luminosity back to my skin. I'm going to be using the Mario Badescu facial spray. This is the one with aloe herbs and rose water, the little pink one. I have not used this in so, so long. I'm trying it out again, mostly because, not going to lie, Ulta is having a deal right now. Five times the points on certain skinny hair brands, and Mario Badescu is one of them, so you know I had to take advantage. 
Now for mascara to finish off everything entirely. Believe it or not, I didn't have any Maybelline mascaras at the moment. Now I, of course, had to pick up another one. So this is from Maybelline. This is their Lash Sensational, which I have tried this mascara before, the original Lash Sensational, and it was so, so good. I've been obsessed with it, and I think I've showed it in a couple of videos in the past. Um, anyway, this is kind of like a revamped version of it, and this is the Curvitude one, which claims that it provides a curvy, full fan effect to your lashes. So... It's a new variation that I haven't tried, so I figured I would pick it up. As you can tell, this is what the one looks like. It definitely does have that curved effect, so I can see why they call it Curvitude. And I also got mine in the color Very Black. I didn't see any, like, brown-black ones in this particular, um, like, style of mascara, I guess. So I just had to get this one. So that's one coat right there. This kind of reminds me of the L'Oreal telescopic kind of in the sense that they both have that very thin wand and it's kind of giving me that wispy like lengthening lash effect there's two coats there i think i might like this one better than the original because that really made my lashes look that much longer and still voluminous like sometimes with mascara it's either it's either like volumizing or lengthening so it's very hard to find one mascara that kind of does both in one I'm not going to do a third coat just because I'm a bit worried it might get clumpy, but I am very happy with the results of two coats, so yeah, this is a really good... Alright, so I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you really like the look. I think it overall came together really, really nicely, and I love all the new products that I tried out. Definitely go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you did like it, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more challenge videos, videos somewhat like this on my channel. Of course, if you have any suggestions at all, please leave them in the comments, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!